So, here's how worm compost works. This is a compost that is about four or five months old, and there's, there's red wigglers in it here, and they are eating through that compost. And when they're done with that, we've started another one over here, they will move over and eat um, this stuff here. So in the meantime, we're just adding dirt on top and putting our fresh compost in it. And we have a lot of compost because we have a bed and breakfast. So we, what I usually do is dig a little hole and I dump the new stuff in. And then I kind of scratch it up with the shovel so that it's broken up partly. And then I fill that back over with some dirt so it doesn't attract uh, anything uh, creepy crawly or other than the worms. So when the worms are finished with this group here, they actually eat from the bottom up. And when they're finished the top, they will move from from that compost over to this compost and eat all that. That's the red wigglers. Now another little secret we have for the good compost is we grow our own nettles. And uh, Vanessa will make a tea out of that. She'll put them in a pail and let them steep up. And then we poke holes in that compost and pour that nettle tea in. And for some reason that attracts the worms uh, even more so and helps to decay the compost. We got almost all of our, our potting soil needs for this here from our two composts. And uh, it's a very good soil for growing things, very nutritious. Uh, we planted an apple tree totally in it. We filled our pond up with compost and the apple tree has apples the first year uh, after moving it, which is kind of amazing. Here's This is all full of compost, really nutritious and uh, a good way to recycle your scraps. Remember the nettle, it attracts the worms. Um,